In this video, I'm going to talk a bit about how much money you need to live in Thailand. And what I've done is I've come up with an approximate figure. And the, the figure I've got is um, 6 million baht. Now, you can't stop watching the video. You've got to see my whole discussion because I'm going to break this down and talk about it. There's a lot of asterisks, caveats, notes about this, okay? But what I've done is I've calculated um, 6 million baht as a bare minimum over a 30-year period, and that's the key. Why 30 years? Who knows? I mean, first of all, how long do you expect to live for? Now, I'm sort of assuming that unless you're very rich, you don't want to go to Thailand below the age of 50. And that was a mistake I made. I was 45 and I realized I was too young. See how age perception is important here because I thought I was in a hurry to go to Thailand. I'm wasting my life, 45. Well, I was too young. I'll admit that. So from the age of 50, you can get a retirement visa. So I'm using 50 as sort of a level here because you can get the retirement visa. Under 50, it's got to be a marriage visa, family, whatever. But over 50, a, a, a retirement visa is possible. So that's just a, a figure I've taken. 30 years, well, how long do you want to live for? If you live a very long, prosperous life, then you might run out of money. And that happens to a lot of men. There's so many dangers about living in Thailand um, I've got other videos where I warn about that. And one of the risks is you run out of money. That's the whole key. And if you run out of money and you're too old to come back to work, come back to your country, you're stuffed. That's just one more danger of living in Thailand. My basic advice is don't live in Thailand. And don't even meet a Thai woman. And certainly don't go to Thailand to live. I can't give any other advice than that. But if you want to do it, fine. I'll talk about other advantages with Thai women and so forth. There are some advantages there. I've got videos where I warn about Thai women. There's lots of dangers and risks about going to Thailand, losing your money, getting ripped off, scams, you name it, it's happened. And I've, I've had trouble myself. But there are understandably some positives, and I'm also a positive but I'll leave that aside. I just want to talk about money in this video. So 30 years um, from the age of 50, that takes you to 80. You can live longer, sure. Now, if you go to Thailand when you're 55, there's 85, 60, 90. Like, you know, how long do you want? It's not nice talking about how long you're going to live for. Okay, but that's just a fact. So... Um, rightly or wrongly, I've chosen a 30-year time period, and you can work out the figures. If you want to live longer, then you need more money, of course, but 6 million baht over 30 years. Now, first of all, that's assuming you're renting in Thailand, and it's assuming you're renting a very cheap budget room. The more you pay for your rent the more money you need, the more comfort you have. If you want air conditioners and TVs and warm showers and all this sort of stuff, you're just going to be paying a lot more money. So 6 million baht over 30 years is a very conservative figure in a budget room, maybe two to 3,000 baht a month. The cheapest room I had outside of Bangkok was 2,000 baht a month, no air conditioning, cold shower. But it was a nice construction, nice new room, nice tiling and so forth. I did find a room for 1,500 baht inside Bangkok. But it was a small room, again, no air conditioning, cold shower, not even a sit-down toilet, but a squat toilet in a bad location. You needed a motorbike to get to local shops, just local shops. To walk to local shops would have been a fair walk. Okay, so it was a bad location, so that gives you an idea. 1,500 baht, and all my neighbours were Burmese workers. 
nothing against Burmese, but I mean, that's the sort of area I was living in. Very cheap, far from shops, a bad area, all Burmese. There were some Thai people there, but they were mostly Burmese people. A lot, lot of factories in the area there. A factory, industrial sort of area, far from the touristy areas, far from the BTS and so forth. Outside of Bangkok, again, outside of Bangkok. And you can still find some good locations, like near shops and so forth, but that was 2,000 baht a month. So I'm talking a budget room like that, 6 million baht over 30 years, conservative. That doesn't include traveling. Now, if you want to go on holidays around Thailand, paying for hotels, trips, airplane tickets, or going back to your country to visit, you've got to add money to that. It doesn't include the money for visas, you know, the fees and so forth for your visas or all that sort of stuff. And it doesn't include the money you have to have in the bank account because you need, at the moment, I think it's at least 800,000 baht in a Thai bank account at all times. That's dead money that has to sit there. So on top of your 6 million baht, you've got 800,000 baht that has to stay in the bank account. Six million, like I said, is very conservative in a cheap budget room. You might be thinking, well, when I buy a house or something, okay, I'll have to talk about buying a house in another video because I do have prices for houses and land and so forth. You can buy a condo. Now, foreigners, I think, can buy condos in Bangkok or Pattaya. That's it. But foreigners can't buy land or houses. It's going to be your wife. So if you just want to live in Thailand yourself and not be married, then that's what you're looking at. Conservative, living in a cheap room, not traveling much, 6 million baht over 30 years. If you want to buy a house, then you want to be married, and all that money is going to go to your Thai wife. It's not you. You can't own the land. It's your a Thai person. So if you divorce... If you want to leave your wife, if your wife, if your marriage goes bust, goes down the gurgler, then you've lost all that money. And that's another risk about living in Thailand. Because you can't own land, you can't own a house. It's got to be in your Thai wife's name. But if your Thai wife rips you off, which has happened, if your marriage goes bust, then you've lost all that money. So you can put a whole heap of money up front to buy a house. But you're going to lose all that. If you have, if you live happily ever after, then fine. And of course, your house is going to go on to your children. If you have children, a generational thing. That's all fine. But the good thing about renting is that you can change. I found Thailand to be a very annoying place to live. Annoying neighbor. I had to leave. I had to move two or three times just to get away from annoying neighbors. At least if you rent, you can move to a new place, see a new place of Thailand, explore a new place, or escape annoying neighbours because Thailand can be very annoying to live in. And then if things, if you don't like Thailand, you can always bail out and come back to your country. You've wasted whatever money you've spent. Well, not wasted. You've had your stay in Thailand. But at least you haven't spent millions of baht for a house up front and lost it all. Your rent... You can come back to your country at least save money. The thing is, you should never spend or invest, or you should only invest the money in Thailand that you can afford to lose. That's a big key. Only invest the money or spend the money you can afford to lose. Now, if you're rich, you're okay. But if you're like, not rich, but you've got a load of money, and you're going to invest a massive amount of money to buy a house or a farm or something in your Thai wife's name, you can see how that breaks the rule. You can't do that. And that's what I advise people. That's why my advice is you don't live in Thailand. You're, you know, it is such a massive risk. You can, sure. And lots of Westerners seem to be able to. If you live happily ever after, fine. But it's a massive risk. Only spend the money you can afford to lose. And if you've got a certain amount of life savings and you spend millions on a house in your Thai wife's name, essentially you can lose all that. See, it's lost. Okay, that's just another 
danger of living in Thailand. But let's get back to this point that I was talking about. Now, the other thing is the exchange rate is really bad at the moment. I've spoken about that in a previous video. At the moment, it's 20 baht to the Australian dollar. Under 20 baht, it's uneconomical. I'm telling you that 20 is really hovering at a tipping point. Under 20, the Thai, the Thailand dream's finished. 100% guaranteed, unless you're a rich so-and-so, and then it, you don't need people's advice because you can live anywhere in the world. If you're rich, it doesn't matter. 20 is debatable. 25 bar to the Australian dollar, and you can work out the exchange rate for whatever country you live in, is sort of acceptable. 25 or more makes it sort of okay, but 20, at the moment it's 20, that's ridiculous. Anything under 20, the Thai bar keeps getting stronger, then that's uneconomic. I've spoken about that in a previous video, so let's get back on track here. So, with the exchange rate being so bad, what's 6 million baht for Australian dollars? Again, I'm talking Australia, I'm in Australia. Back in the day, like more than 10 years ago, it was 30 baht to the Australian dollar. 30, and that's why it was, or more than 30. In 2007, when I first started going to Thailand, it was 32 baht, or 33, to the Australian dollar. You're like a rich person, right? And that's why Thailand was attractive for Westerners to go and live. You can go there like a king and live like a king because the exchange rate was so good. So 30 baht, 6 million baht is $200,000. 200,000 Australian dollars. At 25, even two years ago it was 25, even one year ago it was about 25, it's $240,000. Now, at 20 baht, it's $300,000. See how the price has skyrocketed? 300,000 Australian dollars for 6 million Thai baht to maybe live for 30 years in Thailand. See how, how that works? Um, if you want to add the 800,000 baht you need in the Thai bank account for the visa, at 20, that's $40,000 almost. So you can add $40,000 to your $300,000 to live in Thailand. The minimum for 30 years. The bare minimum, 6 million. And really the... The um, realistic figure is probably more than six million. Six million is conservative living in, in a cheap room, like I said. Seven, eight, ten, you know, how much, you know, how comfortable your room is, how much luxury you want. If you want to buy a car then, buy houses, go on trips, stay in hotels, come back to your country, then it just keeps going up. But six million is totally conservative in a cheap room then add the 800,000 baht you need in the Thai bank account, that's $40,000, that's almost $350,000 you need. When it was 30 baht, that was 20,000 plus 27,000, maybe $230,000 back more than 10 years ago. Now it's so that might give you a rough indication of how much money you need to live in Thailand. That once you start paying for your family, that's where your money drain. Thai women can drain your money away, and Thailand can drain your money away. You start paying for people's expenses. Oh, my grandmother's sick. My brother-in-law's in hospital. Had a bike accident. Um, you know, got to buy a new car, a new fridge for the wooden house. You want to build a new house, and can I have this? All the you have all these friends and family come at you for money, your money's going to drain away unless you're rich. That's the massive danger of living in Thailand. Anyway, this video is too long. I think I made my point. The dangers of Thailand, but if you do want to live in Thailand, you need a whole heap of money. And 6 million baht is totally conservative renting a cheap room and not traveling much. I'll talk about buying houses in a future video, but that's going to involve a big 
obviously a massive lump sum up front, which you're going to lose, well, which you may potentially lose if things go sour and you've got to bail out, come home, divorce, whatever. Um, but there it is. Just I was going to say something, but forgot. I'll leave it at that. And that's three hundred and fifty thousand Australian dollars bare minimum at the current exchange rate, twenty bar to the Australian dollar, which is a terrible exchange rate. Like I said, it's almost uneconomical now to live in Thailand. Anything less, forget it. It's got to go up to at least twenty five bar, and you can work out the exchange rate in whatever country you live in. Twenty five bar or more is okay, but there it is some rough figures to go by. Be very careful about, you can live in Thailand, but the thing is, don't come crying to me. If things go bad, you lose your money, you lose your life, and you, um, you have a bad experience. That's all I'm saying. That's my warning videos about Thailand.